Welcome to Camp Randall Stadium, where these fans have been getting prepared to cheer on a whole pack of Badgers since early in the morning. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Wisconsin Badgers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Rhys Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Badgers will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Alabama Crimson Tide offense will take the field for the first possession of this game. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. Well, the QB looked like he knew where he wanted to go with that football, but give the defense credit, they were able to swat that one away. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Back to throw, it's Milrow using the quick game. The defense wouldn't let him lose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down, get something positive. But how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field? Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Man, those hurt for a defense because you got him in third and long, right where you want him. You're thinking pass, pass, pass. They sneak the run in there. Now they got a fourth and short situation. First thing, I'm always watching the football. Now, getting ready for the run game, the short passing game, the play action game. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. So Wisconsin's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. When you have a weapon like this on the outside and a guy in the secondary whose job is to take everything away, it's going to be a great matchup, guys. It's so fun to see how you attack great safeties in the middle of the field. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. Oh, they are breathing a sigh of relief after that recovered fumble. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Pulls it in. It's Pauling. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. 
Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. To throw, it's Van Dyke. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. And that's why these guys play defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, what's the pass? Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Badgers moving quickly to the line. The give to the back. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Ball's at the 13. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Aaron is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple. It's down at the 11. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Field goal is good. Hold on just a second, guys. Flag on the play. <laughs> You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty's going to give the offense a first down. Snap it to the back. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal, that's a win if you're on defense. Third and goal for the offense. Scanning the field, it's Van Dyke coming after it. The freshman able to get home with the sack. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. The coach has to be happy. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. 
He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Here comes that Alabama offense. Boy, three and out last time, Davey. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now the play fake. Moves around to clear up the vision. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. What a great play by the defensive tackle. Look, sacks aren't just for very athletic, long defensive ends. These D tackles, man, they use their strength. They push Lyman back in the pocket, collapse it, and come away with the sack. to keep them pinned in their own end. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. It falls incomplete, and we'll change ends of the field to get things started back up. As we come to the end of the period, Wisconsin has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. On the ground, it's Malusi. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for a man, it's Van Dyke. Firing to the right, complete. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Nice read and nice throw. And I know Wisconsin quarterbacks always get the unfair moniker that they're game managers, and it's because they've always been a great rushing offense. Just got to complete a couple of throws and keep the offense on schedule. But when you think about the offenses where they've had a difference maker, a guy like Russell Wilson that were able to throw on first down, take shots, just make them so much more explosive. I think this guy has some of those traits too. We always talk about the Wisconsin ground game, but the Badgers have had some efficient quarterbacks in recent years too. And just finding the guy that fits, right? They're a scheme fit, a system fit. And that guy that can be a complement to the run game, that's what you want with a great Wisconsin offense. Gives it to the back on the draw. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He's back to throw on second down. Looking to the big tight end. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Well, quarterback had exactly what he wanted there. He had his big fellow work in the middle of the field. You thought that was going to be an easy pitch and catch? Not so much. That's a mental error by the tight end. They got to clean that up. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. From the gun, running back on the move. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. Well, they've already made one. The holder will put it down at the 38 for a 48-yard attempt. It is true as he puts three on the board.
After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable in that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Unloads it left. And complete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, fortunate to get it back. Yeah, nice coverage, and, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. It's usually because of their lack of hands that you just saw. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to run for it. Hits the spin cycle. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And they may have caught the defense napping there a little bit, David. Maybe expecting pass on that third down. But because of the back's effort now, fresh set it down. And it's so nice to have a guy that you can give the football on these third down situations and feel confident you're going to continue to move the sticks. They'll ride the hot hand. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. And it wasn't lack of effort by the running back. He was trying. He could tell he fought one guy off, but another guy in his face right away, but just trying to do something. The offensive line needs to do a better job keeping some guys off this guy. Come on, man. Take care of your running back. Hand off from the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. No, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Let's it slip right through his hands, and it'll be fourth down after the rare drop from this dude. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. The Crimson Tide will bring a punt team on the field. He'll try to really get into this one. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They finished the first two drives with field goals. They'd love to get a little something more this time, Jesse. Want to just keep seeing balance from them and a little better execution as they get closer to the goal line. They've got the playmakers at receiver, at running back, and they love their offensive line. David just got to put it all together. And I think once you start to move the football down the field, that area of the field when you get the field goal range, you've got to be a little bit more physical. So listen, still a good start. Still got the lead and an opportunity to build on here. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Quick touch pass to the receiver. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And now on second down for this offense. Quick release by the QB. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. The Badgers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Trying to get to it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. One of the big risks about being in an empty set is that you don't have tight ends or running backs helping you out in pass protection. And that time, the quarterback got hit. 
right before he let it go, and that's why that ball fell incomplete. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Getting some heat. Got a man. It's Green. Running with some authority as he bangs his way to the 43. Throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion. Nice catch. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? To the air. It's Van Dyke. Fires to the middle. Oh, he just flat dropped it. He had the ball and didn't look it all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and shoot. And the Badgers will send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Here comes that Alabama offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. They're trying to get to him. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's off to the races. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're faster than them nowadays. So much speed, so much electricity now with these guys. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man quickly. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. That can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's got it on the move. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. This offense can get a jolt of momentum headed to the locker room if they can take the lead here. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Bama. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. And they move on top with the extra point, 7-6. to six. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. He'll bring it out. It's Henry. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Feeling some heat. Finds his tight end. And gang tackling on this dude is a good idea. They needed it, but he still got the first down. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Back to pass, it's Van Dyke. Throws to the wideout. Connection to the right. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Wants to throw on first down. 
Catch open down the middle. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on the game. He finds his man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Now with just a few seconds left, not enough time to run another play, but there is time to kick a field goal and take the lead. And this one splits the uprights. And after the field goal, guys, they are back on top. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Madison. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Camp Randall. from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right, that pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football game. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. I know this offense came out here in the second half hoping to build on their one possession lead. But after that incompletion, I think the smart thing is to just kick it away here and let your defense play and try to get it back to you without giving up any points. The Badgers will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. The tied offense rolls onto the field. From the gun, the ground game. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Throws to the tight end. And he dropped it. Just didn't look the thing all the way in. Well, man, I mean, you don't get more wide open than that, right? Big fella running down the field. Nobody near him. Quarterback puts it on him. Just got to make the catch. 
Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. The Tide with the first and ten. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, makes the tackle for a loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. You got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And that, and that was good defense again, and unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense, or listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Dropping back, it's Van Dyke. Fires to the wideout. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. He's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner. Got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight it. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. On the run, it's Malusi. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
The dominance on the defensive front reminds me of Jonathan Allen against Mississippi State in 15. Had like three sacks, three tackles for loss, and seven solo stops. And it reminds you of every Alabama defense you watch. This is a team that they are going to stop the run. If you run the ball with success, they're going to bring more guys and be more aggressive. And you can tell they're not going to let this running game get going. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. And the Badgers send out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll bring it back. It's Bernard. They're able to put a stop for that return right at the 30-yard line. Here comes that Alabama offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. You kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Might as well give it to him again. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. You know, sometimes wide receivers are so eager to get up field once they have the ball, they take their eyes away. You really got to do a good job of looking it in and securing the catch. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. Just not willing to take the hit. He delivers it and gets to the 27. So surprised. We have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country. But give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. On second down, they'll take to the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Haynes. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. So Alabama takes the lead into the quarter break. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Alabama with a first and ten here. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. They're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies and traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. The incompletion brings up a second down. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Into the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. And these windows get tighter down here in the red zone, and those catches are a little bit more contested, more people near you, and it gets a little bit more difficult. But you need your players to step up for your QB and make big plays. I think he's going to look back and say, I should have made that play. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. He rolls all the way down to the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just keep running the football. Everything is going according to plan right now. They've been able to stay on the field. They put some nice plays together back to back to back, and they're bleeding the clock. This is exactly what you practice for for situations like this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. He'll try to tack on one more. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. They took it 71 yards down the field, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter. Man. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Ball is free. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. Then it always seem like that ball is on the ground for like 30 seconds. You got 17 guys running at it in slow motion. Like, I got to get the football offense. Very lucky to get that football back on first down from their own 22. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They'll leave it with him. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. You've got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down coming up. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Badgers will bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick. 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 So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And the Badgers are rolling down the field. It's a draw. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. 
I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Wide out in motion. Back to throw, it's Van Dyke. Pressure coming. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires to the tight end. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like because that route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. Out routes are very much about timing. You gotta, it's got to be a quick, decisive movement from the quarterback. As soon as he sticks that foot in the ground, you know he's breaking out. Throw it right now so he can go make the play. Great pitch, great catch. A two-tier job for this offense. First get the touchdown, then the two to try to pull even here in the fourth quarter. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, Wisconsin! I'll tell you what, great job by this offense, great execution. You drive down the field, you get the score. Now what's your two-point play? You practiced it all week. What's your go-to in this moment, late in the fourth quarter, when you need the two-point conversion? After the score, they need this two-point conversion to tie. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Snags a quick pass on the left. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Wrestled down at the 32 after a pickup of five. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. They're getting this guy lathered up, finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Dropping back, it's Milro. Fires to the wideout. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock, 
not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. that They did their part, score, your defense does your part. Jesse, this offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. On second down, he'll let it fly. The sure hands, it's green. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, what happens is that DB starts to bail and that wide receiver comes back and it's an easy pitch and catch for the offense. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. It leads to second down. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On second down, wants to throw. Quick strike complete. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. To the air, it's Van Dyke. Quickly complete. They'll get it to the 48, no need to measure. It's a first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. almost incomplete. It leads to second down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Looking to throw on second down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Well, you look at the clock. They've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a, a last-second, last-chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. We've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Blast it as he lets it go. And the pass is incomplete, and the ball game is over, and this will be a game of what might have been.